Hi, I'm uh, Nitin Kumar here with another review. I'm just doing a brief overview of all the launchers for, that I have used in my Samsung Galaxy S life. I've been using the S1, S2 and now I'm using the S3 from the past two, two and a half years. So I was just thinking that should I should go through all the launchers that I've used in from my Galaxy S and S2. Okay, uh, they're pretty famous ones but now I don't think so people think about them. AWD launcher, the Apex launcher, the Go launcher. The launcher and this is the standard Jelly Bean ROM, as you know I am running a Jelly Bean ROM. Launcher 7, Launcher Pro, My UI Home, Nova Launcher, Regina Launcher Pro and TSF Shell. All these are free except for TSF Shell where you have to fork out $16 for it. There's sort of free launchers. As you know in, when Galaxy S was launched with a 2.1 Eclair, it was shit. The launcher was really, really bad looking. So the phone came a standard touchless launcher, which was ridiculously slow. From going back from the home screen to the uh, app screen to the home screen. So now I've just decided to go to just install the launcher that I once used. With the My UI lock screen. Okay, first let me start with the expensive one, the $16 one. I don't know how how would they charge sixteen dollars for this. This and this SPB shell is fifteen dollars each. Okay, here it is the SPB shell. It's loading TSF. No, sorry, the TSF shell. You can see uh, the 3D effects. The app is in one page. You can change this effects. Doesn't seem to be working properly on my Galaxy S3 though. One is the you can swipe in and swipe out. Other one is the rotation, other one is the page turn type, this is like circular movement, this is like, I don't know, pop in, pop out, oops, Sorry. and the next one is flip out, okay, and this is all the widgets that has, and this is the pages, how to go to the next page. You can you can have five screens, okay? And this is all the uh, this is a weather widget. You can see pop-ups like that. This is the music player widget. You can keep playing a lot of songs on this. And <clears throat> and you can see there's a lot of you need to have an empty page. This has to go down. Okay, here you go. Go to the new page. Pull up this. You can. Uh, it comes with three widgets: the music widget, the weather widget, the memo widget, and the contact widget. And you can see it in some. And you can launch the shortcut icons over here. And here you can drag and drop shortcut keys talk the messaging and you can have some kind of lasso effect over here sorry and and you can put into uh, you can arrange it uh, delete it create folder or not this is one launcher you see have it in my galaxy s2 just mainly or ornamental it doesn't serve major any purpose okay the next one is the regina 3d launcher pro this is the free launcher it kind of acts 3d effects to your home screen kind of laggy though, very 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 laggy you can see this you go to the, you are in the maximum home screen and you can see you can this is how you can see this view over here and this is how the home screen appears you can see the, it seems to be tilting a bit not major customization it doesn't allow you to have uh, live wallpapers for adding one it is just press and hold and you can see the Gina widget Android widget shortcuts folders uh, it's a pretty decent launcher I used to have it in my S and this is the my UI home the king of Android customization you can see this is a virtually the iOS version of Android you can see it has no app drawer it has the phone the context the uh, browser and the uh, messaging and you can see you can change this effects 
you can change this is the most customizable rom you can change the teams you can change the mi locker the uh, lock screen everything i'm not going to deep, uh, the depth about it because i've already done a video of samsung galaxy s2 running a my ui rom those who like to customize their rom this is the best for them the next one is the launcher 7 uh, i kind of like windows 7 the launch screen really really nice yeah with the live tile animation you click this and go to the phone you click this it'll go to the messaging tab you click this goes to the chrome so you can completely preset it and that's a video player and then if you go to the app go to this page and then you have an app menu Pretty decent ROM, pretty decent launch. I used to have this for a, a long time on my Samsung Galaxy S2. So I kind of like this concept. Maybe I might go for a Windows 8 phone. If Nokia comes out with a decent Windows 8. Okay, after that, I can show you the Launcher Pro. This and AWD Launcher was the most famous launcher when Android was in the 2.1, 2.2 states. Both are up to down. You can completely customize it. Though now I don't see much reviewers reviewing about it, but it is a very very nice uh, launcher at this time when Android was at 2.1, 1.6 or 2.2 version. Really, really nice. Uh, let me just check out AWD launcher was also another favorite of people when this review. This will still looks like Android 2.2. You can see it goes from side to side. And you see, these dots remind you of which screen you are on. You are on the third screen now. The same thing, you can add wallpapers, everything. But unlike I said, unfortunately, no one remembers of this ROM. I mean, this launcher because ICS and Jelly Bean stock is that good. And I used to have then, in when uh, Gingerbread came out, 2.3 came out, then I discovered the Go launcher. I used to, I used to have only Go launcher at that time. Beautiful, beautiful ROM. I mean launcher. The Chinese have really done it. You can see this ROM, this launcher comes with everything. You get your own standard widgets, music, the weather. I have Go Weather installed. I don't know who doesn't. Those who like HTC weather, the Go Weather the next that comes close to it. Click on this my button. You can see the effects. Too many effects will come in this. Very, very, very I used to like this a lot. Uh, you get a lot of options in this. You can change the lock screen. You can change this screen. You can. Uh, they uh, these developers. This is a free ROM, and the developers of them have made very nice live wallpapers, everything. So it's a very very nice ROM. I mean launcher. I don't know why I keep saying ROM. Uh, this launcher is very very nice. It's free. Hats off to these people. If it is not for ICS, I would have still been using this launcher. Okay. Now now let me go to the next one. The next one is the okay the next one is the apex launcher this was it comes with ics theme like i said ics has become so good so i don't see a need for any more launchers you see very very fast round uh, you get your apps downloaded apps widgets and here you get your apex settings system settings while in normal one you get the play store over there you can see it's very very fast launcher it complements your phone if you this are uh, this and the nova launchers are the ics based launchers so in case you're running a samsung phone a htc a samsung htc or any other android phone and you don't like the customization you can just go for this you'll get the stock ics feel okay you see no lag over there sorry last but not the least which i've installed is the nova launcher it's a similar thing. You get your apps, widgets. It's more like uh, stock because you don't get the downloader options. And when you click this, you get the Play Store, Manage Apps, Nova Settings. Okay, like I said, if you want the stock uh, stock feel, ICS and Jelly Bean feel, you should go for Apex or uh, Nova Launcher. And the last but not the least, the launcher. 
this is a standard launcher that comes with this ROM and I must say this is the best one this is the best Jelly Bean has the best uh, in uh, launch interface ever I don't understand why should people even customize it really really nice click this you go to the play store account you can see it it this is my favorite uh, so I'm decided to be remain stock now and I'm going to delete all this this is just to show how Android has evolved from the uh, launcher AWD to the Apex and Nova launcher or to the st stock Jelly Bean. Android has really come a lot away from being an ugly duckling it's become a very beautiful phone so this is just about it to show the different launchers that I've used in my Samsung Galaxy S life. Bye bye.